everybody and welcome back to my channel where we talk all things canvas in case you're new hi my name is Lauren and I'm the canvas queen and today we are going to be discussing student annotation assignments in canvas so first off what even is a student annotation assignment well essentially it is a submission assignment type where you basically provide students with a PDF document and they are able to annotate and draw, write all over the document and submit it for evaluation. The student annotation tool is amazing. I love using it in my classroom. I've been able to do so many creative things with it and I know that you'll be able to do so too. I think one of the things that I love about it is you're able to recycle a lot of old PDF documents that you used to have, maybe you used to print them out before, and now you can use them in the Canvas digital learning space. Before we get into the main part of this video, I would absolutely love it if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. It just helps me reach more people that need Canvas LMS help. All right, let's get to it. how you can create a student annotation assignment. That's a lot of words, but I am on my modules page. You can also create assignments on the assignment tool navigation bar. That is also a thing, but I personally like to do it within a module just because then I don't have to place it later. So we're going to go over to this plus button, add assignment. You can see there's multiple things where we're clicking assignment. And then I kind of already have an assignment set up. So normally we would click create assignment. You would provide a name for it, but I'm going to click on my demo student annotation assignment here and add it to my module. And we are now going to go enter it to edit and fix all the settings to create that student annotation part. All right, so this is the assignment page. It's just a reading passage for a science class. And so we're going to add, so basically the students will read this page and then at the very bottom, there will be an assignment attached at the bottom for them to fill out. So we'll go up, you're going to click on the edit button. And so you can see all my directions here in the rich content editor. We're going to bypass that for now and you can provide any points. We'll just say four points because I believe I have four questions if I remember correctly. The big place that you want to pay attention to is the submission type right here, okay? So we're gonna go from no submission to a not external tool. We're gonna click online and you're gonna scroll down and select student annotation. Upload a file from your computer, so that being like a PDF file, or you can go into your course files. And so I've already added the file into the course, and so it's right here, Waves Reading Guide Questions. That is the PDF that I want them to annotate and change and mess with, so that is what I'm going to click. And then all I do is click over here, save. You can publish it if you want. We're gonna publish it because I'm gonna show it to you in student view. And you'll notice, if I scroll all the way down, you'll notice it's not there. Why is that? Well, in order for you, the instructor, to view the student annotation assignment, you actually need to view it in student mode. But you will notice right here where it says submitting, it says a student annotation, and that's important for us, the instructor, to know that we completed the editing steps of the assignment the appropriate way. So now I'm going to show you how to access the PDF document and student annotation tool as a student, or what we call in Canvas student view. So the first step is to make sure that this assignment is published. So if it says unpublished like this, this student view feature will not work. If it says publish and it's green, it's going to work. So let's click on the student view. So now we're seeing this as a student. We can see there's no due date, the point value, and the submission type. We're going to scroll all the way down. And this right here, this window, is the student annotation assignment. 
we have the ability to download as a student this document. We have the ability to rotate at any point this PDF document. You have the ability to zoom out, zoom in. And my one of my, I think, favorite things is you can make this full screen. So now I can really zoom in and I can pay attention to the document and use all of my other annotation tools. So I'm going to actually stay here in this format until we're done altering this PDF. So this is a PDF that I created within Canva. Um, I tried to make sure the dimensions of this PDF made it so that it fit the window entirely. I just wanted to do it that way. <laughs> um, but here we go, we're gonna come in and zoom in to the document here and I'm gonna show you the other tools that you can use. So up here we have what I kind of, I think it looks like a hot air balloon. This is a like marker or a, what they call in Canvas a point annotation. So you're gonna click on it and you're gonna have all of these colors to play around with. So um, I'm just gonna pick purple. And what's cool is like you can click anywhere on the document and then leave a comment. Another cool feature for if you're an English teacher and you're annotating an assignment is that you can use this highlighter tool and this allows you to highlight text and you can also make notes about the highlighted text, which is cool. Probably the most important tool is the text tool. All right, so here it says students answer the questions as best as you can using the text tool. I added that in so that students could see how to use it. So we have some options here. Of course, we have our colors. We have the option to add a background. So all that means is like when I come up to a color here right now, it is a clear background. If I want to make it a white background, it will do that for me too. White background. You can always delete these. It will always ask if you're, are you sure you want to delete this text? And you can say cancel or okay. We can make the text size bigger. Let's answer questions. The higher the amplitude of a wave, the more. This is energy it carries. My formatting isn't fitting correctly with the line. Or what I can do is I can try to make this smaller and then get rid of the background and place it perfectly. That's one thing I like about it is you can click and, and drag it where you want it to go and you're done. Okay, another thing, especially if you're editing text, we have strikeout annotation. So we can put lines through text and say something like not necessary. Another tool that is very cool about the student annotation assignment is drawing. So you have different thicknesses and of course your different colors and you can draw, I'm going to draw a heart <laughs> all over this page. And so one thing that I did um, when I was a science teacher is I would actually have them draw um, for certain things like the egg drop project. I had them draw models uh, using this tool. And then of course they can actually write their descriptions here. That is the majority of the tools. We have one left, which is uh, just creating a box around items. So this is good for like big sections of text or if you know you want to use it as a drawing tool and you can also add any comments of course. All right, so we have annotated this page. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to make this smaller. So we're back at the assignment. We can see that all of our annotations are there and I'm going to click submit and I get confetti and we're done. And of course we can always click new attempt and start over. The window is no longer at the bottom unless I click new attempt and then it will open a completely brand new document for me to edit all over again. The last part that we are going to go over in this video is grading the work. In the speed grader, we're going to enter it and you'll notice that we have our test students work with all of the comments. Now, as a teacher, I can 
reply to all of the comments made by the student, which is really cool, especially if like you're an English teacher. Again, we have all the same tools here as a teacher. I can highlight certain things and say not in, you know, like as the evaluator, not enough information. And of course, this comment makes no sense to this assignment because it's a one answer assignment, but I'm just trying to give you examples. Um, and then let's say that they got, since I did make a comment, they got a three out of four. And so then it's going to grade it and done. So that is how student annotation assignments work overall. You can annotate PDFs as a teacher. You can annotate documents um, as a student. It's a great tool. I know there's a lot of other apps that can be embedded into Canvas, but they do cost money most of the time to the educator. And so one thing that's super beneficial about student annotation assignment is that it's free for teachers. Even if you have a free Canvas account, it is free to use. So just thought I would show all of that to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that it was helpful to you. If you would please share it with a friend who might benefit from knowing this information, knowing how to utilize Canvas student annotation assignments, that would be awesome. I would really appreciate it. And of course, if you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment below, or of course you can directly contact me on all of my social media platforms. Until next time, guys, thanks.